Mary Beatrice Davidson Kenner was an African-American inventor who was born on May 17, 1912 in Monroe, North Carolina, near Charlotte. She came from a line of inventors. Her grandfather invented a tricolor light signal for trains as a way to communicate multiple messages to guide trains. Her father, Sidney Nathaniel Davidson, invented and patented a clothing presser that could be stored in suitcases and would press one's clothes while traveling. Her sister, Mildred Davidson Austin Smith, invented and commercially sold board games. She spent her childhood brainstorming new improvements and inventions, drawing up models, and assembling prototypes. For example, she created a sponge tip that could be attached to the end of a wet umbrella to stop rainwater from dripping on the floor. She recognized that most passengers seated in the folded rumble seats of cars usually became victim to poor weather. So she created a convertible roof that would extend over the back of the car to protect each passenger equally. She also created a portable ashtray that could be secured onto a cigarette packet. She graduated from high school in 1931 and attended Howard University. Unfortunately, she was unable to finish because she could not pay tuition due to financial hardship. She took on whatever job she could find eventually settling into a full-time position as a federal employee, which allowed her to support her designing in her free time. Mary Kenner is best known for her invention of the sanitary belt. A sanitary belt was an elastic belt used to hold sanitary napkins in place. The belt was secured by safety pins or clips. During this time, disposable pads were not yet available and women were still using cloth pads and rags during their menstrual cycles. They had to continuously wash and reuse the rags, which also presented little protection for clothes from leaks and staining. Tampons were available for women, but they were discouraged from using them because they were seen as indecent at that time. Unfortunately, the sanitary belt was not used until 30 years after her invention because the company that first showed interest in her creation rejected it after they learned that she was an African American woman. Sadly, more rejections came due to heavy racism. Ultimately, Kenner was able to save enough money to file a patent and was awarded the patent for her invention of the sanitary belt on May 15, 1956. She continued to improve the belt by adding a built-in moisture-proof napkin pocket that helped with leak protection and to avoid staining clothes. She was granted a patent for this invention on April 14, 1959. Mary Kenner received several patents for her household and personal item creations. In 1959, she patented the carrier attachment for a walker after her sister Mildred developed multiple sclerosis. This consisted of a tray and soft pocket that could attach to the frame, allowing Mildred to carry items around with her. On October 19, 1982, Kenner and Mildred shared the patent on the toilet tissue holder. Also, on September 29, 1987, Mary held a patent on a back washer and massager that could be mounted on the shower or bathtub wall. In total, Mary filed five patents, which was and still is more than any other African American woman in history. None of her inventions were lucrative, but she continued to do what she loved and helped change the lives of women all over the world. This creative, hard-working woman was also a well-known professional florist running her own business in Washington, D.C. Mary Kenner passed away on January 13, 2006. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, 
and let us know in the comments who you'd like to see a video on next and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you for watching.